none of the 2022 sprint or hurdle champions on the women's side will win in the same event where they won in 2022. That's that's what I think. So, so Shelly's losing through. 100. Shelly's losing 100. So Frazier Price, let's just go one, two, four, right? So, or one, two, let's just break this up into groups. The one and the two, Frazier Price and then Sharika Jackson. I think Elaine Thompson, hurrah, is going to be back. I could also see a scenario where they they switch, like flip the events. I know Shelly Ann's stronger at the one than the two, but maybe Sharika wins the one. Maybe Shelly Ann uh, wins the two, but I'm just not counting out Elaine Thompson, hurrah. 400, Miller Weibo, we know going away from the event, and I believe Sydney's going to run it which brings me to the 400 hurdles. I don't think she's going to run it. Again, this is just a prediction. It's just a guess. No information here for me. Yeah. Which would leave it open for Femke Bowl or Dalila Muhammad or whoever. And then that just leaves the high hurdles. And I know Toby Amason is the the world record holder, but that event, just remember how tough that event was, top to bottom, one through eight, it's real hard. So I think we're going to, nobody's going to repeat on the women's sprints and hurdles. What I want to do is I want to take this segment and I want to title it Kevin doesn't believe Shelly and Fraser Price will win the 100 meter title. Kevin doesn't believe in Shelly and Sharika. Dude, I want, I, I want the country no, to just, make it if I'm after you. No, but I'm saying it could be Elaine. I'm saying it could be the other yeah. one. I'm saying it's it's real close. So there's no guarantees that they're going to hold on to those titles. The other one I was looking at, I didn't do this prediction, but I was looking at people who had won back in Tokyo. So who are the Tokyo Eugene winners and how many of the Tokyo Eugene winners could become Tokyo Eugene Budapest winners? And if you look at the, just the running events, it's El Bacali, who's still in the running. Emmanuel Career is still in the running. Miller Weibo, a thing Mo, Faith Kipiegon, and Sydney McLaughlin Ravoni. There's only six that won two. How many of them can extend it to three? I would argue you're going to get that down to about two maybe this year, in part because the scratches, though. So it's not as fun, right? Like Sydney not getting the title because she doesn't run, or Miller Weibo not getting the title because she's not going to run is not as fun as, oh, she's going to get upset. I was going to say all of them will lose, but there's no way Faith Kip Yagon is losing. So I'm just never going to make that pick.